Hello YouTube, my name is Victor, welcome on my channel. Here is a tutorial about shape keys, uh, I will correct myself, about corrective shape keys and drivers and how to use them in Blender. So I was rigging my wolf and after rotating this bone, let me select it, rotating this bone on X axis, I faced with the issue, if I come closer here, you can see how painful it is for our wolf. So, and this is not a weight painting issue because for a, most of the poses, weight painting is looks good. It's only when I rotate this single bone on only X axis, I have that issue. So it doesn't mean that uh, I have to now to go to the weight painting and fix the weight paint for this bone. Because later, if I go to the poses where we had the weight painting fixed and okay, I'll have the problems there. So it's not a solution. And we will have to use drivers and corrective shape keys to solve that. But I will quickly show you if I will go to the weight painting now and we'll try to fix that. So let me select the bond that uh, close to what we have the issues. I'll try to fix that. Like that, and maybe here, maybe here. Okay, we fix that, and now if I come back to another pose, if I want, for example, him to see it, I will grab this bone, and now we have the problems with weight painting here. As you can see, so it's not the solution. We, we don't we don't have the problem now if I grab and rotate that bone, but we will have problems now with the other bones. So another tip how we can fix it is if we go here uh, and uh, go to the armature modif modifier, we can click preserve volume, but it's not gonna work in this case. So we're gonna be using drivers. Let's go and change this bone. Uh, rotate this bone and go to the mesh and add a few shape keys. I have already a few shape keys here, so I'll get rid of them and add new. I'll add a basic shape key and another key, uh, key one. So now uh, I'll go to the edit mode of this character, not to the edit mode of the armature. Uh, and we have wolf looking like that. Uh, we don't see the armature modifier in edit mode right now. To see that, we have to go to the armature modifier and click these two buttons. Now we can see deformations as well as the armature modifier in edit mode. Click to the, uh, go to the proportional editing, click connect it and reshape uh, this uh, shape of the character. If you don't see vertices uh, inside, click on this button here. Uh, so grab this and this one. I'll not be spending too much time on this because this is just a tutorial. So I'll quickly reshape it. So, and maybe here. Let's pretend that we are happy with this result. Let's go to the object mode again. Let's go to our shape key, change it to value from 0 to 1, value of the shape key. And as you can see now, if I hide the armature, uh, our leg doesn't uh, go inside of the uh, mesh anymore. Let's uh, grab this bone and uh, rotate it on X axis again. Uh, let's go to our shape key. Uh, as you can see, it works. 
but it works now if we uh, want to come back to another pose we have to adjust it again to zero so we will have to animate this value from zero to one from one to zero all the time and it will be a nightmare for the animator if uh, it will not be uh, moved automatically only when we rotate this bone on x axis uh, so what we want to do now is uh, changes to happen uh, so the driver will be driving the shape key only when we rotate this bone for, uh, on local x axis let's go uh, yeah let's grab this again rotate this uh, let's go to our second shape key and add a driver add a driver manually create later so now let's find our driver for this we go to the uh, graph editor of curve change it to drivers let's go to the key find this driver and press n to reveal n panel and let's go to the drivers here is our driver section let's change it to the average value let's find our armature my armature name armature 001 now let's find the bone that we're gonna be rotating uh, here is our bone the name of this bone is bone 005 so let's find this bone here uh, and uh, how do we want to rotate uh, how do we want to transform this bone obviously we will be rotating this bone and we will be rotating this bone on a local x axis to see this axis we have to go here let's come back to the mesh now and change it to x rotation since we will be rotating this bone on the x and change it uh, the space to the local space why to the local space because we will be using this uh, we'll be rotating this bone on a local x uh, in case if we were using the wall space it will cause a lot of problems because uh, other bonds uh, that uh, in relation to that bone exist in a wall space to that bone so if we were using the wall space we'll rotate for example the root bone and the changes to the to that shape keys will be happening as well uh, now I expect that it will work let's see and it kind of works but not completely to see what is happening uh, let's come back to the driver and we see this value at the moment at 0.5 the shape keys are used on only halfway but we need the value to be 1 so the shape uh, will be changed completely uh, so let's go uh, for this we have to add another modifier generator here here is the drivers here is the modifiers add generator modifier and uh, since we have 0 0.5 about 0 0.5 approximately here uh, we have to change this to 2 now since we had 1 2 uh, now change it to 2 it will mean that uh, the shape key will go from 0 0.5 to 1 now and yes it is uh, but not at the moment to see the changes we have to uh, go to the rest pose again so clear all of the rotations locations go to the rest pose and rotate this bone again and now it works as you can see so only when we're rotating this bone on local x axis uh, changes to the shape keys are happening and the driver drives the shape keys from value uh, from 0 to 1 to see that uh, we can go now uh, come back to the rest pose at the moment the value of this uh, shape key 0 but now if I rotate this bone like this come back to the modifier the value is almost 1 so if, if we rotate any of these bones the shape key uh, will not work if we rotate uh, this bone for example the shape key will not work as well because we are using the local space uh, of this bone and not the world space of uh, all of these bones so that's it guys thank you for watching this tutorial